this particular country, Libya, at this particular moment, we were faced with the prospect of violence on a horrific scale. For more than four decades, the Libyan people have been ruled by a tyrant, Muammar Gaddafi. He has denied his people freedom, exploited their wealth, murdered opponents at home and abroad. Lengsernya Qaddafi telah menjadi keinginan Presiden Obama yang diucapkannya sejak awal Maret. It is US policy that Gaddafi needs to go. Namun ia juga menegaskan bahwa keterlibatan militer Amerika Serikat di Libya di bawah payung NATO hanya mengemban misi kemanusiaan, bukan perubahan rezim melalui aksi militer. To be blunt, we went down that road in Iraq. Perang Irak yang mengundang kecaman internasional dan menguras kocak negara merupakan peninggalan Presiden Bush yang menjadi pelajaran besar bagi Presiden Obama. Itu sebabnya di Libya ia memilih jalur multilateral. Tapan zona larangan terbang berdasarkan mandat PBB. Namun itu bukan satu-satunya strategi Obama. Akhir Maret lalu, harian terkemuka The New York Times mengungkap berita bahwa Presiden Obama telah memerintahkan suatu presidential finding atau perintah pelaksanaan covert operations atau operasi terselubung di Libya. Dalam episode Inside Metro TV kali ini, tim BOA di Washington akan mengupas apa yang diperintahkan Presiden Obama pada CIA di Libya. Apa itu covert operations, bagaimana sejarahnya, dan apa dampaknya bagi reputasi Amerika Serikat di panggung internasional. Well, in the United States, covert action is always conducted under a presidential finding. This has been the case since 1974. A presidential finding is a piece of paper on which the President of the United States affixes his signature directing the intelligence community to do something overseas, usually designed to influence some situation as opposed to simply collect information. Mengapa operasi terserubung menjadi pilihan Presiden Obama? Salah satu faktornya adalah biaya. We have a budget deficit approaching 1.5 trillion. There's another war you know, of an overt, open kind would certainly not be popular with the American people, especially for a president facing re-election. Aksi militer di Libya juga akan mensabotase agenda Presiden Obama memperbaiki hubungan dengan dunia Muslim. Our polls show that significant numbers of Muslims, however different they are, are very concerned about American intervention, occupation, and dependency. However, in certain situations, some of those Muslims, if it's their country, vis-a-vis -vis a ruler, will ask, where is America? You know, why aren't they intervening now? Why aren't they helping us now? So if you're a Western country, it gets really difficult, no matter what you do. Disinilah keunggulan operasi terselubung. Terletak di daerah abu-abu antara diplomasi dan aksi militer, operasi ini bisa menjadi instrumen efektif mewujudkan kepentingan strategis suatu negara. Dalam kasus Libya, tujuannya adalah membantu pemberontak menggulingkan Qaddafi sesuai keinginan politik Presiden Obama. Presidential finding, we don't know exactly what it said. We don't know how far the CIA can go or whether this is just a finding that the CIA in the future may arm and train the rebels or what they might be allowed to do in the future. A uh, finding can be very narrow or very broad, depending on what the president wants to do or what he wants the result to be. Namun banyak pihak di dalam dan luar negeri bersikeras, keterlibatan Amerika di Libya sekali lagi merupakan ikut campur yang berlebihan. Things are falling apart at home while we're searching the world looking for dragons to slay. Kalau ada masalah di Amerika, ada 50 atau 1000 orang Amerika minta bantuan negara lain untuk ngebom Amerika, apa bisa? Ini berbahaya. Karena satu kali satu negara ada masalah terus negara lain bebas mengebom negeri itu, ah itu juga dia bisa ambil alih satu negara. Itu juga harus ditolak But the question would be 
Does the Libyan opposition believe that it, it wants, from what we understand, I think the Brits have had people quietly on the ground, and therefore they can kind of help and train the rebels, etc. Well, are the rebels accepting that? Is that what they want? And if that's the case, is it okay for Indonesians or for me to be saying, the Brits shouldn't do that? Or for me as an American to say, who's very critical of notions of American intervention, to say, or Western, in this case, this simply shouldn't happen because Esposito feels that there's been too much intervention in the past, too much neocolonialism, and so, Let the Libyans die. Bocornya berita pengiriman agen CIA ke Libya memang cukup menggemparkan dan bisa jadi disengaja. Not only does he gain some political credence at home, particularly from conservative critics of his, but it also sends a message to Muammar Gaddafi that the United States is pretty serious about this this effort to uh, to overthrow him. Bagi Gaddafi, ini peringatan keras dari Obama. If you read the executive order strictly, literally, uh, there should be no specific targeting of Muammar Gaddafi. However, the way American presidents have interpreted their responsibilities, that does not prohibit them from providing aid and assistance to groups within those countries who are attempting to overthrow a foreign leader. Sejarah menunjukkan Amerika Serikat telah terlibat dalam berbagai operasi terselubung di seluruh dunia. Bahkan pada masa Perang Dingin hingga pertengahan 70-an, CIA terlibat operasi penggulingan pemerintahan hingga percobaan pembunuhan kepala negara. Dalam segmen Inside Metro TV berikutnya, kami tim BOA akan mengajak Anda mengulas berbagai covert operations ini termasuk dalam lembar sejarah Indonesia.